Hello first grade. Today we're going to be going over our final lesson capacity. Today we're going to be going over how to use the metric system. Instead of using a non-standard system, we're going to be actually using the metric system today. Let's get started. So on the left side we have the different units of what we use. So we use cup, pint, quart, and gallon when we use the metric system to uh, see what kind of capacity things hold and ten, technically when you see these things you can see them in the kitchen, you can see them in a lab, you can see them all sorts of different places and these are sort of the, the actual units of what you want to go by when you're measuring capacity but then there's also some non-standard units that we would use in our real life situations depending on the situation. So for cups, it takes two cups to equal one pint. So that means we need two of these in order to equal one pint and to, to get that. Now, it, equal, it takes two pints to equal one quart. So we need two pints of these to get one quart of these. But now it takes us four quarts that's four of these to equal one gallon. So as you can see, this is our metric unit system of capacity. And like I said, you're gonna see this in the kitchen, uh, primarily when you're cooking, like I said before, it takes cups, quarts, pints, different measurements of water that you need for different foods. And you can see them in a science lab when you're doing labs in the near future. You can bet that you're going to see these units of measurements in those labs. Thank you. Hello, second grade. Today we're going to do our last unit of measurements for capacity. And today we're going to be doing uh, a different, two different units that we haven't talked about. And we're just going to briefly go over those to finish up the lesson. Thank you. Let's get started. So as you can see, I have liter and milliliters written down. Those are the last two that we're going to be focusing on. So it takes one liter to equal a thousand milliliters. So we know that milliliters is the lesser unit of measurement compared to a liter because it takes, and vice versa, vice versa, it takes a thousand milliliters to equal one liter. Now with liters, you've seen, you probably have heard this a couple times in life like if you go to a gas station or if you order a pizza they'll ask you do you want a, a two liter drink with that or do you want a one liter drink and like those are the different measurements when it comes to like if you buy like Pepsi or like root beer there's different liters in the like of how tall that drinks gonna be so if you order like a two liter you're gonna get a bigger drink if you order like a one liter you're gonna get a smaller drink from the two liter so you just need to know the different, like like I said, the capacity that that liter holds is the difference of how, if the drink's gonna be taller or if the drink's gonna be smaller. So we know off that liter, so if say we had a three liter drink, we know that's gonna be pretty, it's gonna hold a lot of capacity compared to a one liter drink. We know that one's gonna hold less capacity than the, the three liter. Thank you.